Hey, what's up, everyone? So today's been kind of a little bit. I'm, it's not really a bad day. It's, I mean, because it's not. It's not. I'm not having a bad day. It's just that, you know, I'm just feeling kind of, you know, frustrated and stuff like that. Like I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of worried and frustrated about our dog Bandit. So what happened was, is the other day he went to the groomer and, well, him and Baxter both went actually, but however, Bandit's tail, his tail was a, you know, a matted mess. So they had to, you know, the only way they, and they had trouble getting that out. So what they had to do was they had to shave it. And so yeah, they shaved it or they had to shave most of the hair off of his tail. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not why I'm upset. It's just that, you know, I'm more upset for him in the fact that he has been not used to his tail being like that. Like he's been, you know, his tail is super short. It's got like no hair on it. They cut it like right down to the, they shaved it like right down to the skin. And so, you know, it, like I said, it doesn't bother me, but I think it's more bother it's more bothering him more than anything. And see, you know, when he he's either maybe it itches or he just it just feels weird to him because every time he walks around, he he walks funny and like turns his head like trying to like I don't know if he's trying to scratch his tail or or maybe his tail just doesn't feel right. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. But the part that, you know, is making me a little bit frustrated and upset is because when I try to take him outside, he gets, I feel like he doesn't, he gets distracted, you know, and this, he can't even concentrate on going to the bathroom because of his tail. And... And because of that, you know, it's just, I just feel like he's, I just kind of feel like he's not himself. You know, he hasn't been himself lately. He's just, you know, I just feel like he doesn't move around a lot. And, you know, his, because his tail, the way his tail is so short is bothering him. You know, and, you know, when I try to take him outside, you know, it's a distraction. Like he can't. Like, he hasn't been doing his business. Like, I've tried to take him out, like, a couple times already today, and he, like, he won't do his business. And, now look, I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. It's not his fault that his tail is like that. He can't help that. You know, the groomers had to do what they had to do, and they, you know, his tail was so matted, and they had to shave it, so... And I'm not mad at him, but what's frustrating to me is that, so, you know, his tail is, I just feel like he doesn't concentrate, like he can't concentrate on going to the, like he won't go to the bathroom and he's just, I just feel like he just, when he does move around, he just kind of walks funny and turns around kind of like, kind of like that to kind of bite his tail or something. And it makes him di it difficult for him to concentrate to go to the on going to the bathroom outside, and and I was starting to get frustrated earlier because, you know, I just felt like you know he doesn't usually do this because before he that he when he had his big fluffy pom pom like tail he would you know go to the bathroom and do his business just fine, but I just feel like now, now that his tail's like that, I just feel like it's going to be really hard for him to go outside, and I'm afraid that if he doesn't go outside, he's going to go, he's going to end up having to go so bad eventually that he might end up going in the house, and I don't want that. Yeah, it just kind of seems frustrating like I said, I'm not frustrated at him or I'm not mad at him. 
but I'm just frustrated that that whole that the that his tail is bothering him and makes it hard for him to go to the bathroom, you know, and that kind of stuff. Like, I usually go outside with them when I take them out. I mean, I don't take them out on leashes because they have an invisible fence, but I, you know, go out with them to make sure, you know, they're not getting into any trouble of some sorts and going in areas they're not supposed to be going in. And, you know, I... I just feel like I'm going to be standing out there forever with him. You know, I've just been, you know, have been out there for, it hasn't been too long, but it's still, it's been a little bit longer. Like I tried to give him extra time, you know, because he can't, you know, focus on going to the bathroom because of his tail bothering him. And, you know, it just seems like I had to I just, he just wouldn't do anything. Like, I was frustrated because, you know, his tail, you know, his tail was distracting him and is distracting him from being able to go to the bathroom. And I'm just, you know, I'm just worried that, you know, no matter how many times I take him out, he's not going to go. And I'm afraid he'll go in the house. So yeah, that's what happened earlier. I got frustrated with the whole thing going on with his tail there. And I was just kind of, you know, I just felt like I thought if I stayed out there for a little bit longer that I could get him to go, but I couldn't. You know, the tail was just so distracting. And again, that's not his fault and I'm not mad at him. But I'm just frustrated that it's, that that's what's happening to him. And it's causing him to do that and everything. And, you know, I was starting to get pretty frustrated earlier. I was, you know, I was, yeah, definitely getting frustrated. Like, I felt, you know, pretty frustrated that I almost wanted to, where it felt like I wanted to bang on something, maybe. You know, like... Not necessarily maybe bang on something, but kind of, you know, like, I wanted to, like, punch a pillow or something. Kind of. So, that's how frustrating it was getting earlier. And, you know, I feel really bad for him that his tail is bothering him like that. I really do feel bad for him because he's not used to his tail being like that. And he just doesn't, I feel like he's just not himself lately. You know, like, I feel like he just doesn't move around as much. And, you know, I just, because of his tail bothering him, I just feel like it's hard for him to move around. And he just doesn't really move around. I feel like he's just been staying on the couch and just sleeping on the couch or, and stuff. Like, I mean, he will... He doesn't just sleep, I mean, but he just stays and lays there. And he just, I just seem, he just doesn't seem to be himself lately. And that's one thing I'm kind of worried about is that, you know, I don't know if he, I just feel like, I just don't know how long it's going to take for him to go back to normal. And I feel like it might be a while and we might be stuck with him doing this for a while. And, you know, it's just going to be hard, you know. So, yeah, that's kind of what's going on today is I'm then a little frustrated and I feel so upset for him that, you know, he's not been himself and because of his tail and everything. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.